Moving the center of gravity. The center of gravity of a capital M equals 5 kilograms irregular object is shown in figure. So this is our irregularly shaped object. Here is the center of gravity and this is the x-axis. You need to move the center of gravity delta x equals 2.20 centimeters to the left. So we want to move it to the left by gluing on a m equals 1.50 kilograms mass which will then be considered as part of the object where should the center of gravity xm of this additional mass be located so here is our setup we have the original center of gravity uh, for capital m we have the additional mass m which has a center of gravity at location xm this will be the new center of gravity or uh, center of mass if it's um, basically the uniform gravitational acceleration and the center of uh, gravity new center of gravity has a distance 2.2 centimeters with respect to the uh, center of original center of gravity and it's moving to the left okay so how do i find the uh, new center of mass uh, assuming that i have uniform uh, gravitational acceleration the new center of mass is equal to the new center of gravity and this is by definition i can consider uh, m as a point mass located at xm plus capital m as a point mass located at capital uh, x capital m the original center of gravity divided by m plus capital m okay and this is equal to the center of gravity uniform gravitational acceleration okay now the distance between the original center of gravity xm and the new one xcm is delta x which is 2.20 centimeters so if i substitute for x center of mass the definition of the center of mass this is x capital m minus the new uh, center of mass location m xm plus capital m x capital m divided by m plus capital m okay now <clears throat> we can basically write this with the common denominator m plus capital m uh, and uh, this will give us for delta x delta x is equal to we have m x capital m plus capital m x capital m minus m x m minus capital m x capital m so let's check m x m plus capital m x m minus m x m minus capital m x capital m divided by the total mass m plus capital m now you can see that capital M X M's will cancel and I'm left with the following M parentheses X capital M minus X M which is precisely what I called delta X divided by the total mass okay so I can see that the distance xm minus x, x capital M minus xm should be equal to um, m plus capital M divided by m times the delta x that I'm targeting. 
<clears throat> so x capital M minus xm is basically the distance between the two masses. So this is going to give me where I, I should put the new mass. Okay. <clears throat> now if I substitute the numbers here, m is equal to 1.50 kilograms. Capital M is equal to 5.00 kilograms. Delta X, the distance between the new and the original center of mass is 2.20 centimeters. <clears throat> With that, I find X capital M minus XM to be uh, the total mass 1.5 plus 5 divided by m 1.5 times 2.2. This gives me x capital M minus xm as 9.53 centimeters. Okay, so uh, that's the numerical answer. And what does that tell me? It tells me the following, the additional mass, additional mass, center of gravity, xm, should be located 9.53 centimeters to the left of the original center of gravity X capital M. Okay, so that's what we have found. <clears throat> so we have an irregularly shaped object which has a center of gravity located at position that I called X capital M. We want to move the center of gravity a distance 2.2 centimeters to the left by attaching a new mass uh, which is 1.50 kilograms. So we want to know where should be the center of gravity of this new mass so that we achieve this task. The new center of mass is uh, mxm plus capital MXM divided by the total mass, which is equal to the center of gravity if we have uniform gravitational acceleration. The delta x <coughs> is the distance between the original center of gravity location and the new center of gravity location, xcm. And uh, substituting for xcm, the definition of the center of mass here xm minus mxm plus capital MXM divided by m plus m. And by writing this with the common denominator, I find that <clears throat> the distance between the original center of gravity xm, capital M, and the location of the center of gravity of the new mass is m plus capital M delta x over m. And if I substitute the numbers, this turns out to be 9.53 centimeters, which is telling me that the distance between these two is 9.53 centimeters. So this mass should be located uh, 9.53 centimeters to the left of the original center of gravity. <clears throat>